So guys, today we're going to work on this camper cord. As you can see, it's burnt there. It's also burnt where this goes in. So we're going to make our own power box out of some of this stuff. Let me see if I can get you higher to give you a better view. And maybe get the kitty back out of our way a little bit. How's that, guys? That's pretty good. So here's our box. I actually already put the plugs in. I sealed them. And I've got my waterproof fitting. Now, this waterproof fitting is a half-inch fitting. I don't really know if I'm going to be able to get this huge wire through there. I doubt it. So what I'm thinking is, I don't even think it's going to go through there. But either way, we're cutting it right now. We may have to go get another end that we can actually get our waterproof end through because this should go on which that's not going to fit and then that should go on and that's not going to fit so what we're going to do start by well moving the cat because we got to move the cat every time we're just going to take our razor knife and open this casing up i'm sorry i did just put a little scratch in your tailgate but this is a working tailgate guys I want you to get a vehicle that, well, you can work in if you want. And that requires us, well, to do this. So, this stuff! Cat just ran up my back. Anybody else have that happen? Yeah, they require their claws out to actually run up your back. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so I've got my leads. Leads are going to come in. Just like so. Look at that. It's going to work perfect with a nice big fitting, right? Right. So we're going to take this with us to the hardware store tomorrow. That's too late now. Get the right fittings. So we can make ourselves a new 30 amp waterproof box. So our adapter is going to go in. We're going to cut this little piece out. And I'm hoping that we can run two, the 30 amp and the 110, which is what this looks like we need. We're really not going to be able to, guys. They want us to run a single 30 amp in this set, Damn. which is not what I want to do. That would be this one. And we pop that out for the 30 amp right there. Boom, boom, boom. Cut those rings, put this whole piece in, which means we lose the whole box, which I don't want to do. I'd like to find some way to actually use this and our other duplex. I got two different duplexes. So this one is a TR tamper resistant. This one, you see that WR? Weather resistant. That's going to pop right in like that. The question is whether we can fit this big honking one next to it. I don't really see how. Unless we cut this box down in order to make it happen. Let's figure it out though. Let's see what we can do. Even if we can get them in this box. Well, without the adapters, but there's going to be no way to make that happen. That's not going to lock into anything without our extra piece, which is what we're actually locking into. Oh, you know what? Actually, we may. Let's see if we can. If we can get this in there and our other one in there, we'd be good. I really just think we might be able to put those in this box. I think it's going to take a little finagling. So, what we're going to do is cut this box up and start playing with it. There's one like this. I'm going to keep that piece. Like this. bit go back to our square bit because I like this bit and 
and uh, that's going to allow us to hold that plastic get these screws further out I just like to put my finger on the plastic and then you can rotate that screw out really as far as you need it My question is though with this adapter plate if we're supposed to cut a little bit more of this out to get that to set flush some of that plastic so let's take a look at our instructions I don't really have a clue what our instructions are going to tell us but we're going to take a look see here pop that out pop that out of the box it looks like so yeah we'd end up for the round ones popping this out um, and probably our center if we're using an adapter yes okay so we're gonna start with our center I'm just gonna make sure that I got you in the view here it might be safer and easier just to put it down. You might want to start with a fresh blade. This is pinch thick today. Okay. here really with the point okay. Okay. perfect okay now I think I'm gonna take both of those round pieces out on both sides so flip it over Working my way around slowly. Might come down to this other end. If you can get your tip in there, start getting it to slide a little bit, it'll generally, there it goes, go right through them. Kind of wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Okay. Same thing on this side. Really just your tip. Just slide the tip in. Pump the tip in. As deep as you can. What I might do is lay it down. Oh, that's worse. Okay. Around. There it goes. Once you can get it start to move, to start moving, or to start moving or moving, you're generally pretty good. Okay. Now see this piece is gonna go in like so. Um, I'll put it in like this. Still have enough? Yeah, I have enough. There it goes. Okay. Okay. Want your adapters in place. Well, kind of get everything lined up, which is sometimes easier said than done. Now you're just going to tighten this. Because you want to pull all of this in here nice and tight to start with that well because we want it nice and tight make sure it doesn't slip around make sure it stays where we want it okay what's the deal it's really not in anything i don't
don't like that per se because what's going to happen is that's going to want to loosen up naturally the only thing holding it is that little tiny piece of plastic guys it's not in a box it's not stuck to anything it's not making me feel like you got this okay also going to end up having to cut those shorter unless they gave us some short ones. So let's see what we've got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because this is going to line up, drop in, and those holes should hit. Boom. Okay. Oh, 